Hey guys, welcome to my channel Techo. My name is Salman Francis and today we are going to solve question number 12 of our RHC version 9 exam. So let's take a look what we have today. And by the way, this video is going to be very informative and it's going to be a complete solution for what we are going to do. And it's not only going to help you with your RHC exam, but in uh, real life scenarios also. So in this, we are going to create a playbook. You can call it anything in our home or working directory with the following conditions. We need to run PHP role on our web servers host group. We need to run balancer, uh, balancer role on balancer host group. So balancer host group, if we browse them via web browser, so they should give a, route, a round robin load balancing of web server nodes, which are node one and node two in my case. And they should display the message, welcome to the respective node IP address. So what we are going to do is, first let me show you that we don't have anything installed. Or let me take you to the browser. And you can see we, we don't have anything on uh, working right now. A few things you need to take note of. Both the nodes should have Apache installed. Otherwise, you need to create a playbook where it should install Apache. All right, so what we are going to do is first we need to download a couple of roles. We are going to use role, install, and I have worked with these roles, so they are working. For uh, PHP, I'm going to use Shane Holloman's role. All right, and for load balancer, we are going to use Gearling Guy's HA proxy role. <clears throat> so both of the roles are downloaded. Now we can just go to our roles directory list, and you can see we have our uh, Gearling Guy HA proxy and we have Shane Holloman's PHP. Okay, now we need to tweak a couple of things. We need to make uh, small changes in order to make HA proxy work properly. So let's go to our Gearling guys HA proxy role in the default section. We will edit in the main file. <clears throat> Okay, first thing, just make sure you remove this empty list. Now, once this is done, give the appropriate name as per your node. I don't think you need to do this in Red Hat exam, but it's just a com since it's a complete solution, I want to show you how the proxy will work properly. Give the IP address. My node one's IP is 30, uh, 230. And my node to IP is 231. All right, so this is done. All right, one more thing we need to change is HA proxy front port address, and it's going to be 8080. Okay, once this is done, let's save and exit. So we have made the changes in our default directory main file. Now what we need to do is go into our tasks, go to our main.yaml. Okay, so this is fine. Quit. We need to go to our, go to templates. Here we have haproxy.cfg.jinja2 template, and we need to make a couple of changes here. What we need to do is, we need to delete this under cookie server ID, insert indirect, just delete this cookie and the backend name. Otherwise it will not work in a round robin fashion. Okay, this is done. Now let's check.
Okay. Save and exit. All right. Now what we need to do is we need to create our own role and it's going to be for PHP uh, message which we need to display. <clears throat> so for that we are going to use Ansible Galaxy again and we are going to call it init uh, roles. It's going to be in our roles directory basically. Oh, I'm sorry I'm in, in templates. Ansible Galaxy role in it and it's going to be in our roles directory we will call it php4 role is created and now let's go to our php4 and here in our templates directory we are going to create uh, one Jinja2 template we will call it index.php.j2 and here I'm going to paste uh, the content which will display the message so it's a PHP file and it will echo welcome to Ansible facts hostname whose IP is Ansible underscore facts uh, default IP version 4. It will display its IP address of the respective node. Once this is done, now we need to create the tasks for this template. And to do that, we will go into our tasks folder main.yaml. <coughs> okay. And the task which we need to create is simple. It's going to basically copy the Jinja2 template. Okay, so let's write this. Copying Jinja, not Jinga, Jinja. Jinja2 template of PHP. And template we are going to use the sources index.php.j2. This is the one we just recently created, and the destination is going to be var www html slash index.php. All right, so this is done. Now, last thing we need to do is we need to make a playbook. Uh, let's call it php4-pb.yml and we need to create it in our Ansible's working directory. php4-pb.yml Make sure PHP template works. And for this, we need to install it on our web servers. We will become root for this. And the roles which we are going to use is PHP 4. I think this is the rule name which we created. Let's double check. Yeah. So now this is done. Now it's time to run the playbooks. I hope everything is solved. So let's run the playbook. First we are going to run playbook for... Oh, we have not even created playbook for our um, wb3 dash roles. Like the main playbook we have not created. Okay, for that, what we are going to use is, first thing is name, 
ensure uh, PHP is installed. Hosts. So the hosts are, of course, web servers. <clears throat> Become is true. And roles. We are going to use the role was Shane Holloman, I guess. Shane Holloman.php. Other task is ensure HA proxy is installed. Hosts, it's going to be load balancers. Search group become true roles gear link guy dot he proxy. Okay, now we need to run these roles. Ansible dash playbook dash i. Okay, let me show you my inventory if I haven't shown you. So you can see that web server has both these groups. So these are the children of web servers. So this means that node one and node two will be in web servers and test node is part of the balancers group. So basically when we visit test node, it should display round robin fashion for node one and node two. Let's run the playbook and Sibyl dash playbook. I is my inventory and playbook name is WB2, I think, WB3. Let's run it. It has changed two nodes. Okay, so let me check load balancers. It's load balancers. It's only balancers. I'm sorry about that. Let's change it. Uh, we need to make changes in WB3. It's balancers, not load balancers. Let's run our playbook again. So this is uh, really interesting and really good for uh, working with Ansible because you don't have to run all the tasks again and again. Once they are already done or completed, they won't run. Now HA proxy is, in, I think it's already installed. Yep, this is good. Now we need to run our uh, PHP Jinja 2 uh, playbook, which we created for the template. And the name was PHP 4. Perfect. Now let's hope Let's go to our nodes, uh, node one. By the way, let's go to our test node first. I just want to sh make sure that HA uh, proxies configuration file, let's check if it's installed. Okay, good, HA proxy is installed, this is good. Let's go to our HA proxy configuration file just to make sure one thing. Okay, perfect. So now you can see that it hasn't come with the word cookie here or the node, extra node here. So this is one. 
let's quit now open our web browser and it should be working so you can see welcome to node 1 whose IP is 0 0.230 let's refresh and 231 it's showing it's node 1 node 2 so guys this was a complete solution for how you will work uh, this Ansible roles with the complete solution so I'm not leaving you in the middle of something I have shown you the complete solution and I hope you like this video and if you like please subscribe to my YouTube channel please visit my website it's tekco.net so teco.net is my website and at the end of this course I will post all of my solutions on the website till then uh, see you in our next video till then goodbye and thank you for watching